Hey, what's going on guys? And welcome to another disaster detail video. Now the vehicle I'll be transforming today is an absolutely disgusting 2012 Chrysler Town & Country that as you guys can see is full of garbage, spilled drinks, and the moldy food smell, it's absolutely pungent. Okay, well just before I burn your eyeballs with what's waiting inside, we'll take a quick peek at the exterior. And besides the layer of dirt all over the van, the wheels and tires are pretty filthy and full of brake dust, but opening the door and looking inside now, and if your jaw just hit the floor, well, I'm right there with you, as it's almost hard to grasp just how dirty this van is. From the nasty cup holders to the disgusting door compartments, the horribly dirty carpets, and the seats covered in old food and grime, the entire van is an absolute disgusting mess as every single square inch of the inside has something gross on it. The cup holders look like they're full of dried up vomit. The headliner has some pretty nasty stains and of course there's kids artwork all over the interior. But just before this van gets the cleaning of a lifetime, take a quick second and subscribe to the channel. I post a new video like this every week, so if you've got the bell on, you won't ever miss out on one. All right, well, I'm calling it now. This is likely going to be at least a 16 hour detail and an epic transformation. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. All right guys, well once again, welcome to the video. And as I get started on the pre-wash rinse here, I'm already having flashbacks to the Chrysler Town & Country and Kia Sedona vans that I detailed last summer. Now, if you guys happen to be new to the channel, those are definitely videos you'd want to check out. But just like those, I was able to record the owner's reaction when she picked up the vehicle. So make sure you stick around until the end of the video as it's one you do not want to miss. working my way around the van and I figured I'd give you a bit of background on this vehicle. So besides having over 204,000 kilometers on it or about 126,000 miles, the owner was telling me that they regularly road trip in it. So the van has obviously been used a ton and she has had it detailed a few times before, but not being happy with their work, she brought it to me to get it looking brand new again. All right, so moving to the door jams, and I'm not really sure how this happens, but there was a bunch of garbage, french fries, and some really grimy and sticky spots. So using the pressure washer is really the easiest and quickest way to get these clean.
Now with the pre-wash rinse done and the wheels clean, I'll get the van covered in foam, which allows me the opportunity to agitate in all the crevices around the vehicle with a boar's hair detail brush to get any remaining dirt or debris. All right, so with the outside clean and dry, it's finally time to start on the massive job that this interior is going to be. So I'll first start by removing most of the garbage and some half-eaten hamburgers and bananas so I can actually find the floor mats and keep an eye on how much garbage is being pulled out of here as we'll come back to that in just a minute. Starting on the rear mat now, and if you happen to enjoy seeing dirty things get cleaned in real time along with the real sounds, well I just posted another video like that over on the second channel, The Detail Geek 2, that I'm sure you guys will enjoy, so be sure to check that one out. Okay, with the van back inside the garage now, I'll turn my attention to the seats and we'll quickly get these removed. And here's a quick peek at what I'm dealing with here today. Yeah, it's really not good. So I'll get a few more trim pieces removed and then we'll get to work on the rest of the garbage.
Now having been told by the owner that everything in the van was garbage and should be thrown out, that's pretty well what I'm doing, although I did put a few random items aside for the owner, and if you've been paying close attention to what I've pulled out of here, you should have a good shot at guessing the overall weight of all the garbage I pulled out of the van, which in this case was about a bag and a half. So leave your guesses down below, and the first person to correctly guess the weight of these two bags in pounds will win a $50 gift card to the Detail Geek Auto Care online store. Okay, working my way around with the vacuum, and you'll see that this carpet has been absolutely hammered with dirt, spilled drinks, sticky candy, barbecue sauce, you name it. So some of these sections are basically rock hard and are definitely going to take a good amount of work to get clean, though it will be made even harder as the quality of carpet in here isn't very good either. And I also wanted to say that if you guys happen to be enjoying this video right now, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Mike told me that if you can get this video to 100,000 likes, that he will personally fund the next giveaway I do, and it will be even bigger. Moving to the trunk now, and the moment I lifted the third row seats out of here, I was hit with the smell of stale urine. So even though the van was already smelling a whole lot better after getting the moldy food out, it just reaffirmed the need to be wearing my respirator today.
All right, starting on extracting these seeds now, and I wanted to take the opportunity to answer a member's question, which comes in from Joel, and it's actually a really good one. So Joel asked about what improvements I would suggest to vehicle manufacturers. And as a detailer, you definitely get a really good feel for the different quality components in vehicles these days. So probably the biggest one for me would be improving the quality of carpet. Carpets have drastically gotten cheaper and cheaper over the years, which as you know, makes a huge difference in how easy they are to clean. So being that it's not a high dollar item, I think that would make a huge difference in the overall quality of vehicles. Moving down to the carpets now, and with this section having a lot of really stuck on grime and barbecue sauce practically glued to the carpet, I'm going to be using my green Detail Geek drill brush to agitate, which as you may know comes in a three piece set, and the small brush works really well for those hard to reach seat anchor points. So if you guys enjoy detailing your own vehicles, I've got them available on my website at detailgeekautocare.com along with the soft white ones, so feel free to check those out but basically I'll be repeating the process here as many times as necessary until this carpet is perfectly clean.
working my way around the van. And if you guys love seeing sneak peeks of new videos, behind the scenes stuff, or just wanna know what I'm up to between details, well, consider becoming a member of the channel as if you do, you'll get exclusive access to the members only community tab where I post all of that stuff, but you could also get exclusive members only discount codes for merch and Detail Geek Auto Care, or even early access to new videos. So if that sounds intriguing to you and you want to support the channel, there should be a big join button right below this video you guys can check out. Here's the two buckets full of absolutely disgusting concentrated filth pulled out from the van. Gross. All right, starting on cleaning the trim now and sadly the artwork has to go, but luckily for me, it's not going to take very long as the steamer makes quick work of anything. So given how nasty this van is, I'll be using the steamer exclusively today to get everything cleaned. Moving to the door trim pieces I removed earlier in the detail and after spraying them with some all-purpose cleaner diluted 4 to 1, I'll hit them with a soft brush attachment and after just a few seconds of work, I'll rinse them off and they'll be perfectly clean.
starting on this disgusting center console now. And I know I've said this before, but a steamer is easily the most versatile and probably the most important tool that I have as a detailer. Without one, there is really no way I could tackle some of the things that I see in vehicles. So for those of you out there with your own detailing business, or if you just enjoy working on your own vehicle, I would highly recommend the McCulloch MC1375 that I use. The link to it is down in the description for you guys, along with nearly every other product and tool that I use. So feel free to give those a look. Moving back inside now, and not surprisingly, this headliner was full of stains too. So this is another area where using the steamer is incredibly useful. However, I will caution that you do need to be careful using it here as you don't want to overheat or saturate the headliner, which can actually cause the glue behind it to let go. But if you move fast and attack it slowly and patiently, it can again quickly take care of any sort of stains there too. But if you don't happen to have a steamer, you can also use some APC and a microfiber towel along with a detail brush if necessary. Okay, with 303 applied to everything inside now, I'll get to work on applying a paint sealant to boost the depth and gloss and really make this van's paint shine. Last step now is to get the tires dressed with CarPro Pearl and then I'll run my ozone machine to eliminate any remaining odor in the van.
I'm excited to see the inside. Because yeah. that's where everything, that's where like years of like being in Everything happens, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. <laughs> oh my god. I can't, like, seriously, it smells good. <laughs> Paul, you got, like, every single little nick and cranny. Absolutely, I don't miss any spots. <laughs> I can't get over the smell. Oh my goodness, it looks so gorgeous. Like a, like a whole new vehicle. For it me. is, it's like. <laughs> I don't even know if it was like this clean when we bought it. Yeah. How long did it take you? Uh, just under 17 hours. That's so long. <laughs> That's so, it was so embarrassing. Yeah. And like now I'll have a good base to be able to like yeah. keep up on things and. Yeah, it'll be yeah. a lot easier to keep it clean then. Oh to do that. gosh, yeah, for sure. No, I mean like I'd never get it. I would have never been able to do this. Okay, well, I'm leave yeah. you. Thank you so much. Yeah, enjoy it. Okay, awesome. Right. See ya. All right, well, after nearly 17 hours, the reset button has been hit on the van and it's looking absolutely phenomenal. That was definitely one of the top five dirtiest vehicles that I have done. So if you guys enjoyed this transformation, make sure you hit the thumbs up button, go ahead and share it with a friend and show them just how disgusting that thing was when I started. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Enjoy the guitar outro and I'll see you guys in the next one.